All right. Um, this is part three. So I hope you guys got all the um, stuff together. Um, if not, go look at my part one and two. Um, <coughs> all right. So I'm gonna start off with uh, showing you guys the needle. My needle's finished. Um, soldered and everything together. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see these little shiny parts here. Those are all the solder parts. Okay. And on the needle. There's two places that you need to solder on. Is one is one part touches the um, paper clip. Okay. The second is for um, the needle to be together. Um, <coughs> when you're soldering it, um, you're going to need a flux. Okay. These you can get at Home Depot. If you go to Home Depot, it comes in a set um, with your flux, uh, with your um, solder. Okay. Go get those. And um, <coughs> once you get them, take your. I cut off a piece of the solder. So this is the solder. Yeah, it bends in any way. Dip this in um, flux. So all you need to do is just pour in a little tray. I had I what I did was pour it in. Um, it's on here. at the flux. Dip it in flux. Dip your gun, your soldering gun. Clean make sure the tips are clean, okay? Um, go wash it, rinse it off, scrub it, whatever. After it's dry, dip it in flux as well and this. So these are the two things that you need to um, dip in flux. <coughs> Once that is done, you can have put this somewhere it's steady. What I did was I held it by a plier. Okay. By a plier. And leave it because it's gonna stay there. And what you do is hold um hold your solder on your other hand on this hand and start dapping it. When the solder comes off it's gonna be round. So um what you need to do is make it flat. So take the needle and start dapping it and sliding it sideways. So it stays flat. So it goes in the tube and it don't um, get stuck. Okay. See how all this is straight, flat. There's no round part to it. Okay. No bubbling part. <coughs> when it's done. Like I said, it should look like this. There's no bumps, no nothing. Okay. Now, to sterilize this, you need to um, put it in the pan. Okay, whatever pan or pot. Boil the water. Sink the sucker in there. Don't leave it too long because when you leave it too long, the tips, the needle part, it starts wearing off because they're so thin. Okay, it start wearing off. So, go ahead and do that. Leave it in there for about two minutes, three minutes, whatever, but not too long, like I said. And if these need the points um, start bending or whatever, um, you're gonna tear up the skin, okay? And it's not good. That's how a lot of tattoos on there look like, because the needles are not point enough, and they're just picking at the skin when you when when they're going in a line, okay? that's the needle part <coughs> um, the gun part I have um, hot glue gun it already so this is how it should look like alright see it stays on there make sure when you're tattooing it's this little center part is facing you because if you do it the other way you're going to be touching the needle Okay. See how it is? Your hand's gonna be over it. 
so it will be bending the needle and it will stop the speed of the needle so what you want to do is you want to face it towards you okay, and hold it there's a handful of people that knows how to use these type of guns um, I'm one of them but if you're um, not old enough to get your own tattoos I suggest you find someone who knows how to use homemade guns these are all done by homemade um, some parts I did myself like the forearms all this stuff here and all this I did all my, by myself um, with this gun so you've seen a lot of them on there they just look like 10 year old drew on you okay so make sure that you got people who knows how to um, tattoo with a homemade gun um, the needle part <coughs> let me put it in there real quick is your finishing look okay except this part here the little center piece where you're gonna connect your needles um, you need to use a button I've seen that one and um, those are the best okay um, attach that button on there glue it and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend this part the needle part not the needle part the paper clip part you take the plier put in about a centimeter or half a centimeter okay and bend it <coughs> use a plier because you ain't Superman and you're gonna bend it to that perfect 90 degree angle use a plier and bend it okay <clears throat> so this goes in there like that all right the needle is still too long I have to cut it I have to measure it perfectly and um, <clears throat> when you're putting the needle together in here like this uh, make sure the button wherever you're gonna poke the hole through for the needle make sure it's at the bottom so that you can adjust the needle to its point okay so right there that's where I need to bend it at and that's where I need to um, poke the hole for the button at alright 